walking video on my other phone, so I see that the uh, the image is a little bit better, the lighting is better, you can see my face, which is, eh, maybe a thing. Um, but you'll have to let me know if you can hear me, if the quality is alright. I'm using this phone because I'm trying to do, oh, that's nice, mostly photo stuff on this one, so the other one can do GPS things and not run out of battery too much. Uh, so yeah, the last couple days, what did I do? Thursday, got off a plane, took a, like, two-hour bus ride. I didn't realize how far out Narita Airport is, but the answer is really freaking far out from the center of the city. Uh, those are cute and weird. Um, and so I took a long bus ride to Yoko's place. Um... Maybe I may do a video about this already? Yoko reminds me a bit of Deanna. Yeah, I think Thursday night maybe I may do one. Oh, right, with the shrine, yeah. So Friday, yesterday, um... Uh... Oh, yesterday was a museum day. I went to two museums. The first one is... What was it? It was, it was called Edo Tokyo. So Edo, or Edo, I don't know, E-D-O, is what Tokyo used to be called, this city. So it was like a history of the city. It was pretty interesting. I enjoyed it. And it was well done. They had... Uh, interestingly, not only did I get a student discount, because I happen to have my temple ID with me, but it turns out, I forgot, the temple has a Tokyo branch. So the counter woman was like, oh, you know, my, my daughter has friends who go there or something. And we chatted a bit. It was cute. Um, I was like, oh, yeah, it's it's... Great! <laughs> um, ooh, gonna not get run over? I can't tell what the light is. That's not a light, that's just a light on a building. Um, fun fact, they drive on the left side of the road here, which is terrifying! I keep not expecting it. They also walk on the left side of the sidewalk, um, which is also unexpected and means I keep bumping into people. Um, oh well. We'll live. So, yeah, so that museum was really, I enjoyed it. It was very interesting. Um, they had a whole section devoted to theater stuff, uh, kabuki and no theater, and among other things in that space, they also showed how some of the uh, backstage tricks were done, which I appreciated all the effort done to show us what things looked like backstage. They're like, oh, tech crews were becoming a thing. And I'm like, and we are still a thing. So, and then the second museum I went to, Fu Fukagawa, Fukakawa, I don't know, G and K are apparently a switchable thing for me now that I've been to Korea, um, where they are the same letter. Uh, so this, the second one was a tiny old fashioned village. So like the way people used to live um, with the kind of row houses and models of all the homes, and they gave them all fake backstories of, like, who lives here and what, what they do and their jobs and everything. No humans. But it was this tiny village inside a building that each day went through, each, every 45 minutes, goes through with lighting and opening sky vents and things to, for real sunlight, goes through an actual day, fake thunderstorm and all. There's like a cat in the town. It was pretty cute. It was interesting. And you can, it was very much a, a touch museum. Like, you take your shoes off and you go into all these homes and you touch all the utensils and you look at all the fake food and you can touch it. It's very good for kids, too. Um, so that was, that was nice. And then I went back and showered and passed the fuck out. Pardon my French. I was so tired yesterday. Uh, today I... So I knew I was meeting Dan and Sarah at this station at 11 o'clock. Google Maps told me it would take me 25 minutes to walk there. <coughs> so I gave myself an hour, figuring, oh, you know, it's hot, I'll walk slowly, I'll be early in case I get lost. I also went into every single convenience store on the way for some brief air conditioning. Uh, I didn't realize it was the Times Square of stations 
and I spent more than 30 minutes lost in and around the station with a wide variety of people giving me directions. Um, so I was late, but they were playing Pokemon, so it was okay. Um, and then, yeah, we wandered around and watched this festival for a bit. And then they ate the weirdest lunch food. It was like shells. I have photos, I think. It's horrifying. Um, and then we went up a tower. And then we tried to find a photo booth to take cute pictures in, but they were all full because it was festival. And then we walked around for a bit, and then we got more food. And I think that was it. Now I'm walking home, and it's nice. Yeah, I can't, not really anything in particular. Otherwise, it's a, it's a good day. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to sign off now, because this video is long, and it's the second one for today. Bye!